Mm. Hello. Still sweating. I just got back from um. <clears throat> walked up to the store, um, 7-Eleven, and they did not uh, sell man. They didn't have no Slurpees. They did, but they didn't. Um, none of them were frozen. Like they were all un. Not ready to serve. Um, so no flavors of Slurpees. I wanted that blue raspberry. Um, blue raspberry lemonade. That shit was fucking so good. Um, I want another one. <clears throat> um, it's fucking hot out there. Um, I, I, I should have fucking sprinkled my nuts with baby powder today or something. <laughs> it was a fucking hot one. Um, I didn't even wear a band-aid today because um, yesterday was hot too, um, being up on the fucking roof. Um, it, it was oh, it was probably like seven or eight degrees cooler yesterday than it was today, but... Um, it was still fucking hot, being out in the sun, um, direct sun and on top of a roof. Um, <clears throat> but the band-aid I had on my, the cut on my leg, like it actually, it fucking tore the skin off. Um, not my actual cut, that I'm, the reason why I'm having the band-aid on, but it tore the skin off, like the sticky part, the ends that are sticky. Um, it, it like burned a hole through my skin. Um, which actually hurts worse than the fucking big, you know, deep gash that I have. Um, which doesn't really hurt at all anymore, but it fucking burns when the band-aid does. Um, it's fucking nasty. Um, so no band-aid today.
bastard. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I did I did just get mobbed by a uh, black wing, um, red wing blackbird um, on the way home, walking through a field. Um, it's it's pretty much an open field. Uh, it used to be a lot. There used to be a house on there uh, with field and property around it, but um. They tore it down, down a while ago, but there's still like a couple trees on one side of, of it, and uh, <clears throat> they were up in there, and um, I don't know if they, if they must have like a baby down, a young, young one on the ground or something, um, or maybe possibly they always just defend their territory that way, but uh, I don't have much experience, like I've, it's the second time it's happened to me in, in different places. But, um, yeah, the old mama bird or papa bird or whatever was, uh, fucking mobbing me, uh, like buzzing over my head and fucking, wee, wee, like, they got this really high pitch whistle that they make, um, which is pretty cool, like, I, I enjoy, I don't mind getting mobbed, but, like, they don't, they don't do anything, but I was kind of, like, worried, like, it's gonna shit on me or something. Um, like I didn't want to get shit on I was already covered with sweat um, I didn't want to be all sticky and covered in bird shit I haven't been shit on by a bird in like fucking ages Like since I was a kid Like you know what I mean Like I, I think I was like five years old last time I got shit on by a bird um, So surprisingly that's pretty infrequent happening but at the same time I'd be surprised if like anyone has ever gone through life without being shit on by a bird like by a pigeon or whatever you know shit does drop from the sky Pat Walsh was, um, that was oddly enough, because I was, I was thinking about the woodpeckers yesterday, and, um, I was watching his video, and he was making a morning video, um, smoking a fatty, um, out on his porch in the morning, listening to the birds, um, but I do believe it sounded like a woodpecker, I, um, like, it seems like a lot of them have, like, sort of similar, like, but, it, it, like, the, um, when he was listening to, like, it had, like, a drop in pitch, which I never hear that one, like the pileated woodpeckers um, make that call, like I, I never hear a drop in pitch at the end of it. Um, but it sounds like some kind of woodpecker to me. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, 
I, I'm still like I, I'm still like confused because like I'm trying to like look them all up, and I don't think I'm getting the whole picture. Like I, I tried to look up every one. Um, like I, I've seen one that I, like I got a video of it, and um, it looks like a pileated woodpecker. Um, it's a big big red head, uh, like bright red head, and it's all black. Um, you know, on, on its back. Um, and then that's all I would see of it because it would be on the tree. Like the only time I would see it was just like on the tree, and uh, going in its hole and fucking feeding its babies or whatever, um, or whatever the fuck it was doing. And uh, but uh, it 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 seems it was too small. It seemed too small to be a pileated woodpecker because this fucking thing is a giant. Um, and. Uh, but as far as like patterns go, color patterns, I can't find anything else like that. There's, um, and then I also saw one that, that, uh, looked a little bit similar to that, but it had white, white in it. And, um, a little bit of white, but, and I was like, is that a redheaded woodpecker? And, um, I was told no, no by this woman, um, but I'm no expert. Like, I, I read up on shit. Um, we got a book. We got a bird book and everything. With pictures. Illustrated book of birds. We have one. But I've, like, tried to research everything. and um, Some of the ones I found, like, uh, I found a couple that, that could, like, you know what I mean, fit the bill, but, um, not really because they're like South America is like their territory. Um, like they're not known to be even in the, you know, northern U.S., northern states. Um, North, North America. Or South America, I was trying to say. Um, not even in Mexico, I don't believe. It's just way down there, like fucking Brazil or fucking Argentina or whatever. Um, the one had a very small territory down that, that way. I forget what, um, it didn't matter to me once, once, um, I knew I, I could eliminate it from my list, um, unless it's an invasive species, uh, you know, somebody brought it up here, but, um, shipment of coca leaves or something. <laughs> species go. I don't think, you know what I mean? Like, they usually fly places. <laughs> usually pigs or rats or some kind of, like, experimental, like, we brought this here to eradicate this problem here that's a fucking pest, and, and then it fucks up the whole ecosystem and everything goes to shit. Um, where they bring it there for food, like they did in Hawaii, um, with, uh, pigs um, and now they all the pigs uh, um, wiped that off you know like nearly all the birds on the fucking islands um, um, and then there's snakes and spiders and things like that that they come in like shipments you know they get stowed away in like fucking banana crates and shit <laughs> Yeah, 
that shit's always interesting to me. Um, what is that? The, the uh... <clears throat> No, it's not Gadsnick. Uh, oh, what's that one? Guam. Guam. What's that snake in Guam? Uh, the venomous, too. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the, the species. Uh, oh, it's hurting my head. It's hurting my head. Um, the fuck? Um, anyhow, yeah, Guam had big problems there, them fucking things. Uh, I imagine they still do. And then there's the southern states like Florida. Um, that's just people with exotic pets. Um, in an area that, you know, most likely came from, um, people had pets and, you know, fucking hurricanes and shit. Destroy everything and then these things get loose. And, um, and they've become fucking, you know, you got Burmese pythons and reticulated pythons. Among others that should not be there, but they thrive in that environment and, you know, fuck up the ecosystem. And now they're eating people's cats and dogs and alligators and all kinds of shit down there. Um, and, uh, they got a big problem. But, um, <laughs> 